today on The Real. Does crazy know crazy? Absolutely. Crazy. Don't try me, though. <laughs> Sexy. Wow. Hello, gentlemen. Ladies, behave yeah. yourself. Love. How about that love? Give me some of that love. Plus the Jackson. <laughs> the Real. This makes me insane. What? Okay, I'm talking about being called crazy. Oh, right. Like what you mean? <gasps> Do you hate when a man calls you this? Sure. Right. And does it actually just end up making you even more crazy? 100. percent Right, ladies. Does getting called crazy drive you crazy? What? It's almost yes. like when a guy tells you, "Are you? Is it that time of the month?" And you're like, "Try yes. it." Absolutely tried it, right? No. It's so rude. I right? have one worse. Calm down. Oh, oh, I hate that one too. Yeah. That, yeah. that is no. worse. You guys, there's a major difference between two different kinds of crazies. Like when your girl is like, girl, you so crazy. Yes. That's different. A man calling you crazy, and I've said this before, anytime a man has told me, yo, my ex-girlfriend, she's crazy, all I say to them is, what did you do right. to make her exactly. crazy? Exactly. And you know what? the womb crazy? No, we right? don't. We don't. They we usually don't. do something to make yes. us go yes. back crazy. Yes. If I'm honest, mm -hmm. I think all girls have a little bit of crazy in them. I yes. think it's just a degree of craziness. Yeah, and then they take right? our crazy right? over the edge. Yes. If yes. we were here, they no. take us Tamar. here. Yes. And sometimes it's not the man that makes you a little more crazy. Sometimes it's that you haven't eaten in the last couple <laughs> yes. hours. That, that time of month. That, or yep. you are pregnant with a 10-pound baby. Okay. Just That's saying. It. Or your Just favorite pair of jeans from didn't experience. fit like yes, they from used experience. to, and you don't like yes. that or, they don't fit you. Or you done caught they behind doing something, okay? Yeah. 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 Or, or I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Tamar, you say this sometimes, too. Like, if a guy is almost too good, if you really like this man, uh -huh. it could cause you to be a little crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, we like all, if you really yeah. like them, like, oh, yeah. they're just oh, so amazing. Oh, because you don't want to lose them or yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. And you like, love the situation. Yeah. Like, I felt that, that type crazy. of crazy when I like somebody so much that you stare at the phone waiting oh, I'm for, sure. for them to call you, and yeah. you're watching yourself do that, and you're like, God, he's making me crazy. Or because you oh. see how amazing he, he is, you assume everyone else thinks he's amazing, too. <laughs> Or you, know you just think, <laughs> or you just think he's like too good to be true. So that, then and you it, make yes. yourself crazy. And you make yes. yourself go crazy. Yes. yes. Right? Oh yeah, because right, you start Lonnie? thinking certain things. And yes. You're like, yeah, you know what? He ain't that yes. what he think he yes. is. Yes. So yes. I'm gonna find out, and yes. then you go crazy trying yes. to find yes. out. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. okay, then which begs me to ask: Does crazy know crazy? Absolutely. Okay, 100%. you know. So we know. Just like game recognize game. Pow. Crazy recognize. Okay. Preach. Okay. Would you consider yourself crazy? No, not at all. <laughs> not a little I'm bit, Taylor. Absolutely sane. Okay, I'm gonna throw. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw something out there, and tell me what you guys think. Some guys think that if their woman is checking their phone, they're, that they're she's crazy. crazy. No, that don't no. make her crazy. Really? I, I check guys, social media. I'm tired of guys saying that. Yeah. Don't stop. Because I think that you should be with a guy where you shouldn't feel like you have to check his phone. What's wrong with checking and trusting? Uh oh. Oh lord. I actually feel like What's wrong with that? I feel like if you've ever checked and you found something, you're gonna keep checking. And I think that's what it makes you crazy. Addicting. If I went into that phone and I actually didn't see anything, I'd be like, wow, I have the code, went in there, there's nothing there. And I actually and it makes you feel stopped. stupid, right? I, I felt stupid. Yep. And I stopped checking. One time I actually reached over and said, and what is that? Because I thought I saw something else. He's like, it's your mom. Yeah. Like, it's your mom and your sister on a group chat. Like, and I felt so stupid. 
Did I it did stop that you? one time. I, yeah, you I know, I went through my ex boyfriend's phone and. I saw it was a message, and he was like, okay, I'm gonna meet you at the bar. So I'm like, I got the address of the bar. I'm Let's going down it. to the bar. We about to have some words, right? right? Why right. didn't you call me? I would have been right there. You're I know man. you would have been, but this is way before you, uh. right? <laughs> so, um, well, fine. The thing is, her name was Tony, you know? Yeah. Oh. oh. So I said, I'm gonna go down, and I'm gonna go meet Tony. Mm-hmm. And when I went down there, Tony was man. Got it. But it wasn't what I thought it was. No, it, it wasn't. It what? wasn't. It wasn't even like that. Okay, See, okay. I, oh, I, okay. I, I got so crazy thinking that he was doing something because I saw the word Tony, thinking it was a female, but it was actually a male, and he really was doing just business. Just kicking it. So that's why you could drive yourself crazy. So now I don't go through phones no more. I just forget it. That's if it's what gonna I mean. happen, yes. you'll find out about it because what's okay. done in the dark is gonna happen. And it'll be yeah, brought to the light. By checking. Okay. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of which, I want to talk about crushes. Okay. 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 So next up, if you've ever had a crush on someone other than your bu your bae, or, or I call my husband my bubba. Okay. Oh, Lord. It might actually... <laughs> Why you call him Bubba? No, I mean... You guys, you know, I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, I saw that. that. One yeah. time your phone was when ringing and it Bubba. said Bubba. Bubba. He's my Bubba. Okay, go I ahead. All right. Okay. Bubba, but okay. Is he okay with that name, Bubba? Guess what? He calls me Bubba. Okay. <laughs> okay, go and ahead. And our nickname is Bub. Well, all Bubba. right. Anyways, so right. if you guys find yourself having a crush other than your Bubba or your Bay, it actually might be a good thing. Mm. Lies. Re researchers <laughs> have found that 70% of women admit they have a crush on another man, and many said that it actually helped increase their desire for their long-term partner. A hundred percent. I would have to agree. I have a crush it's called a hall pass. You just call a lie pass. Uh -huh. Really? No. You, you don't guys don't know what a hall pass is? No. Crush? That no. one person that just like floats in your mind as like your little crush, you and your partner having one, makes it kind of cool. It makes it it's fun. fun. Cause you know oh. happens. You can look at the dessert menu, you just don't order. Yep. Well, that's yeah, not a hall pass. with you over that's there. That's not a hall pass. A hall pass is actually when you let him have like a weekend or a day. I no, no, not no, in that marriage. is. That's why it's called a pass. All right, right but they not. say like, for instance, there's celebrity hall passes. Yes. Which means like, okay, let's You're say playful. my celebrity hall pass is. Who? Oh, I don't know. That's a celebrity okay. crush. Vince Vaughn. Let's say Vince Vaughn, right? You would. It's like somebody I think is really hot. There's Vince Vaughn. Hey, that's, your, that's your best. Yes, I think he is so hot. Like I think he's really day. cute. And, and, but, like, that's it's not... That's just not a good picture. Okay. It's not likely... <laughs> Can we face tune him? So I... It is not likely that I would actually, you know, get a it's chance playful. to sleep with Vince Vaughn. So, like, okay, if your man tells you my dream girl is Jennifer Lopez, you're gonna be like, keep going with that dream. Like, she could be your whole boss. You're never gonna get a chance to sleep with her, probably. I think of a, a crush as in like a, a playful, you know, a yes. playful manner. And then like he's... whatever you feel for that crush, you just you just take it towards your towards your man. See, I'm yeah. better than me because I don't play them little games and stuff. We play no. Monopoly and stuff like that, but don't play with me like that. No, 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 no. It's no, no, no. a crush. No, no. It's just, it's, no, it's no. something you kind of dangle and in front I of each other. And I dare you to feel bold enough to tell me. <laughs> like, what's my response supposed to be? Oh, you like her? <laughs> no. Yeah, wait. Wait a minute. No. Let me tell you why I do think it's good. I feel, Lonnie, you're going to agree with me on this. I feel it's a good Not thing. Not her face. I don't no, know. No, wait. Listen, Lonnie. Why it's okay to have a crush. I think as women, sometimes we need a lot of attention from our man. Like, you know, the text messages, the calling, and that sort of thing. And I think if you have someone that you can crush on at work, then you won't need as much of that from at your who? man. At work? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. That can opens I... the door for shenanigans. I'm no, telling you, man. Anybody got not if it's serious. I'm living proof here. You I'm going to tell you. Wait, wait. A crush I, is no, not no. serious. I like I... you. We just work together. Let's eat lunch. You over there, I'm over here. What's no, no, no. Okay, well, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's kind of young, and I think he's nerdy hot. Don't get yourself in trouble, and, buddy. And he has a British accent. Okay. Nicholas Holt. We don't you know who, who that is? We don't know him. Nicholas Holt. <laughs> Y'all don't know who that no. is? He looks like he's 10. He's not 10. That's just gross, Jeannie. I think he's 20-something. 
What, what movie was he in? He was an X Men. We got it. He was only an X Men. Come on. Okay. Come All on. right. Yay. Y'all don't think he's cute? All right. Well, well that's show crush. Going back that's to what good. Jeannie just said. That's good, baby. Jeannie just said that, like, Thank she's you. thinking about Dwayne Johnson and then she comes home and she wants her man. Now, I have to ask an honest question. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever heard of somebody playing the highlight reel in their head? What no, what's, what's that? that? You guys have never heard of the highlight reel? What no. is it? Tell me. Uh, <laughs> okay. She it's got a like, name for everything. No, I'm <laughs> telling you, men have highlight reels. Okay. What is it? A guy once told me that, you know, if you've been married for a really long time, at some point you either hopefully play your wife as your highlight reel or all the great moments you've okay. had. Okay. Oh. When you're being like intimate, a to a you movie. play the highlight reel in your head. Yeah. So I don't want somebody thinking about something somebody it, else. Okay, I'm when then doing she's not that. Finished. I didn't no, say I, you'd want them to. What I'm saying is, you know, this happens, right? I'm, I'm not really fully understanding you. So right? okay, what are you a highlight reel. That doesn't things make me feel good, think, Adrian. Things that you think are sexy or hot or, or moments you've experienced that were really hot. You're talking about thinking about And then about when you're being else, intimate, while you're having, you, it could not be somebody else. The, your highlight reel might be with your husband. I would hope so. It better be. I'm sorry to tell you, Tamara, not everybody's highlight reel is with their... Okay, this fellas in the audience, he raised his hand. My fiance. Oh! Your fiance. Oh! Good answer. Okay, where are the honest men? Really where are the honest men? Adrian wants to know, where are the honest men? <laughs> so, sir, you have a highlight reel. Yeah, it would be my fiance, Janelle. Oh. oh that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, but... How, How long is your highlight reel? Highlight reel, <laughs> I'm sorry, as a woman, I have a highlight yeah, reel. I know. You know what my so, highlight reel would be if we got, if we talking about highlight yes. reels? Any man that got a job, that would be my highlight reel. Okay. <laughs> we are having some girl chat. Yes. yes. My hey. So, I know, we're on a group text with each other. We yes. text each other all the time. We love using emojis when we text or email, right? So, I was excited to hear you guys that there are... 38 new emojis being considered for release next year. Yeah. So excited. Yay for communication. Yes, they're so necessary. They yes. set the tone. That's yes, right. They do. And you guys, in these 38 new emojis, they even included a selfie emoji. Uh, uh, what you mean? Like, that, that was for me, right? Oh my God, you are queen of selfies. You are. And, and I'm going to send the selfie emoji with my selfie mm -hmm. that I send you. So Wait. look at these emojis, guys. What, what do you think? That selfie emoji and oh, I like the one. I don't know. Do you think these are I necessary? Like yeah. Bacon, 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 bacon emojis. Uh, I like is the green I don't like seasick? Emojis. Does that mean you don't like emojis? Be sick to your stomach? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Wait a minute. Hold up. Did I just hear what you said? Yeah. I don't <laughs> like emojis because <gasps> I don't understand what the emojis mean, especially when they come from these girls. What? I don't understand. And this one right She's here and that one right there, both of these two emoji queens. And I'm tired of y'all sending me, talk to me in words, please. <laughs> no! Wait, I will I admit, like, if I tell you, you I have a headache, I could send you that one right there, like, I girl, this but is I so crazy. What, that mean. Mean. what does the bat mean? Are <laughs> like, you crazy? Like, you crazy as a bat? Like, bat crazy. So, You're ladies dead. of the real, if you had a chance, to make your own emoji or pick one that's already out there, what would your signature emoji be? Oh. Uh. Mm. You have to pick one, Lonnie. Uh. Mine would be a pair of high heels. They yeah, got that already. Okay. I know, but that would be mine. Mine is always like, I like to be up in heels. I like to click them together. I think you should always oh, wear heels cute, as high as you. Oh, that's cute. That's, that's mine. cute. And that that's means cute. get the stepping, no. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, like, like mine would be like, baby, I'm at home waiting for you. <laughs> What's yours? You know, panty and bra on, oh, kind of oh, a sexy oh, moment. Right. I'd, Which... have, I'd have a lingery bikini moment. Oh, They're Lord. like a, that's, oh, oh, oh my God, that's my actual bathing suit. I love that, that emoji. That's my mono bikini. Mine would be so cliche. What? Of course. <laughs> it would be a beating heart. A beating, oh, that's, that's. Oh, because that's a moving emoji. Seriously. <laughs> Sorry, what happened? What, I, what happened? Tamar, I ain't seen it means uh, unconditional. We know what it means. <laughs> loving. Oh. I unconditionally. I thought love it would have been a Bible. Time. A Bible? Yeah. Yeah. You love the Wait, word. Wait, do they have a Bible? I do. Emoji? I do love the word. <laughs> She's not saved, girl. Don't Wait, worry about it. Wait, seriously, you guys, they don't have a Bible emoji they or a cross. That's a good one, though. They I have do have a cross. cross. I'm pretty sure they do. No, no they, they don't. The I tried to use it for Easter. They didn't have it. No, they don't have a cross. There what was would no yours cross. be, Tamar? Well, you know, I have to be honest. I, I want two. Well, first one, they already have, right? 
And that would be the eyes, like, girl, so what happened? Side eye. <laughs> yeah. OK. Yo, Side what's eye. the second one? It would be my face like this. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah, you need that. Like, girl. I like that. Yeah. OK, my emoji would be stacks of bacon. Stacks of bacon. Yeah. Now, y'all know that I'm a satisfied single who's been dating for a minute, so I know a thing or two about relationships. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been sending in your questions, and it's time to give it to you straight. Welcome to Lonnie's Love Corner. Hey! Let's start with the video submission you got from Nicole in Connecticut. Take a look. All right. Hey, Lonnie. My name is Nicole, and I'm a single mom working over 60 hours a week. I haven't been in a relationship in over five years since my focus has been raising my daughter. I'm finally ready to get back into the dating world, but I'm scared to re-enter as a single mom. I don't want to scare men away. How do I handle this, and how soon do I tell someone about my daughter? Good First of all, Nicole, I want to commend you for being a single mother and dedicating yourself to your child. Good for you, girl. But five years, it's time to get out now, okay? It's time to get out, Nicole. Yeah. And let me tell you something about men. When you're in your 30s, they already assume you have at least one child. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I take pictures of my nieces and nephew and make sure that they act like my kids because I don't want the man to think I got a house full of cats, you see? <laughs> So don't worry about that. But since you are now getting back into the dating scene, try speed dating. That will help you a lot because you don't have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. It'll get your feet wet into talking to strangers. So good luck, girl. Yeah, so it's like good a nice, it's like a nice good practice. Advice. All right, Lonnie. So next, our girl, Mrs. Banks in Arizona, has a good question for you, okay? Okay. All right, Lonnie, brace yourself, girl, because I have to brace myself. I have to read her real slow. Okay. okay? Recently, I saw on my husband's search history that he's been looking at some naughty website mm. at the hour when he should have been asleep next to me, okay. or better yet, getting busy with me. Okay. I confronted him, and he denied it. I can't, I mean, it was so juicy. I can get over the porn issue, but my real concern is, how do we keep the love and spice in our marriage so that he doesn't feel he needs an alternate stimuli? Okay. Okay? Now, we've only been married for a year, <laughs> and we recently had a baby. Help! Okay, look, let me tell you something about men. Men act like babies, all right? Especially after you just had one. Yeah, facts. You well, ain't getting me in trouble, Okay, okay. <laughs> so all you need to do is give him a little extra attention. That's true. Take some time, give the baby maybe over to your mother, to his mother, and have a special night just for him. Make him feel special. That there is that. true. That's good, yeah. That's actually very yeah, true. Yeah, that's that's good. Yes, that okay, was good. Okay, I got a good one for you, Lonnie. Okay. This one is from Haley L. <laughs> in New York City, and she's joining us live, okay? Oh. Hey, Haley, are you there? Hey! Hello, Hello. you Okay, what's your question for Lonnie? Okay, Lonnie, so I'm 31 and I've never had a boyfriend, believe it or not. Okay. Um, I've gone on a lot of dates, but I can't seem to meet Mr. Right. So my question is, should I lower my standards or should I hold out to try to find the right one that I'm looking for? Uh, okay, I need to ask you just a little bit of a personal question. Uh, okay. Are you a virgin? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, now I can tell you what you're doing wrong. Slow it down, okay? Slow it down. Don't do nothing. Just talk to them. Give yourself some time to get to know the dude. Take you some time before you go all the way and get to know him, and then maybe you can find out what you really like in How the about dude, that? okay? So wow, good luck, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's true. That's good, Thank you Lonnie. guys for submitting your questions. And Lonnie, you, you seem to always come through with your love advice. I try real hard. No, no, you're really, really good. <laughs> Let's face it, between styling and playing with it all day, we all do so much damage to our hair, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Well, it's time to repair, and today we're taking matters into our own hands. Mm -hmm. Here's the best part, you guys. Everything you need is already in your kitchen. Yes. So, is homemade hair repair. Yes. All right, ladies, let's bring out our hair models. Fellas! Woo!
are here to hook you up. All right, so that's right. These homemade hair remedies work on both men and women, so we thought it'd be a little bit more fun, don't you, with some eye candy? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so Lonnie, you are up first. All right, first we have Hans, who has kinky hair. Hi, Hans, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Now, this kind of hair tangles easily, and an issue with many women and men can relate to. So, we're going to use beer and apple cider vinegar to smooth it out. Now, Ooh. here's how you make a homemade hair detangler. The malt and the hops in the beer will leave your hair soft and less likely to tangle. Wow. Apple I cider didn't... vinegar washes out the product buildup, mm. and combining the two will make your hair feel great. Now, you just mix it up. Here's the beer, some I had left over from last night. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar, mix it up real quick. And then what you do is it works best on damp hair. So we're gonna, I'm gonna get you a little wet. <laughs> Softly. Oh, sorry. Softly, yeah, we spritz Lonnie. it. And then you kind of pour a little bit on it. No, just a little. Wow. Ooh. That's kind of sexy. How does that feel? And then you just move it in, you know. So, you... <laughs> so, for you folks at home, let this sit in your hair for five minutes and then you rinse it with warm water and that's it. Now, Jeannie, what do you have? Wow. I'll nice. keep rubbing. Yes. For a dry and itchy scalp, a simple remedy is probably already in your fridge. I'm talking about yogurt. I love yogurt. Right? Me too, I always have I have yogurt in my fridge. fridge. The active cultures in yogurt help to moisturize troubled areas on your scalp and also combat itching, sometimes in dry weather, yeah. right? So this homemade scalp reliever is so easy, you guys. All you have to do is take a big scoop of plain yogurt and massage it into your scalp. <laughs> Elliot, how does that feel? Better than I ever imagined. Okay, here we go, massage it in. Oh, no! Uh. <laughs> so fun. Oh, Adrian. Yes, yes. All right, enough, yes. ladies. Adrian, you're up. All right. <laughs> when hair is frizzy and has split ends, it usually means it's dry, right, guys? Now, I've got a really easy way to bring some shine back to your dull do. You'll just need some bananas like this right here. We chopped them up. Eggs, yogurt, oil, and honey. So let me just dump that all together. That's the eggs, yogurt. See, there's yogurt in mine, too. Yogurt's so good, mm -hmm. though. It's got so many probiotics in it. Some oil, and let me add the honey. Then we are going to whip this up together. Honey you making too. a cake? What are you doing? I know, right? Are you ready, Alante? Uh, I'm ready. Look at how he looking. Look at the brother. <laughs> <laughs> now apply the mixture to your washed hair, like this. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> All right. Just like that. <laughs> now, once you're done with that, you're going to put on a shower cap and you're going to let it sit for 30 minutes. A shower cap. Just like that. Oh, you went from a plate to a, a Now, the olive oil is moisturizing, and the honey helps seal in the moisture. Plus, the potassium in the bananas strengthens your hair. And <laughs> seriously, you guys, it smells so good, too. So when time's up, just shampoo it, and you're good to go. Now, I can tell you from experience that growing up with musical siblings can be a blessing and sometimes a curse. But when it's your dad, and he's Tito, <laughs> and your uncle, and he's Michael Jackson, okay? It takes things to a whole new level, all right? So our next guest not only inherited a musical legacy, but they made a name for themselves with their own triple platinum selling group, 3T. Yes, now the guys are giving us an inside look at the real Jackson family with their new show, The Jacksons, The Next Generation. Give it up for Taj, Terrell, and TJ Jackson! Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, TJ, we yes. met a long time ago. Yes. <laughs> all right. So I'm expecting you to sit here and tell us the real, 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 real. Okay. Right. So really, honestly, like, tell us something about the Jackson family we don't know. <laughs> Give us some good. Something, huh? Um, I'll tell you what. We're we're, we're pretty normal. Right. Okay. We're pretty normal. I mean, we hurt. We we love. We. We get frustrated. Right. We're normal. You pretty cute too. <laughs> it's just lying. Well, do you, do you guys you guys have kids? I can't believe I'm saying it. I mean, we've we've mm -hmm. just grown up so so quickly. <laughs> do your guys' kids want to be musicians? Um, I think being in this family, I think music's just around and everyone loves to, to play something or sing, but not everyone does it as a profession. Oh, oh my God, you oh. so beautiful. <laughs> but they do the same things we did. We, we watched our uncles and our aunts mm -hmm. performing and we put on their stage clothes, yeah. anything that would glitter we had, like mm -hmm. anything that was glitter, exactly. rhinestones, so. You grew up with such a famous family and you just said, you know, we're normal, but like, could you really do normal things? You know, our, our parents, I think they tried really hard to make sure we grew up normal. Mm -hmm. um, so we played Little League Baseball. We did all that awesome. good stuff. Yeah. Um, big in school. You know, our yeah. mom was all about school. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. <laughs> I feel like you were going to say something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I just want you to turn and look at me. That's all. Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, hey. <laughs> I'm fanning her off for you up here. But you guys really did grow up experiencing what the pressures of being famous is like. So what made you guys decide to start a band? That's, that started, I mean, we just, ever since... I was in diapers, talked, so I didn't yeah. really have a choice. Right, right. okay. Yeah. Music we, was there. We just watched them, you know, performing. I remember yeah. my earliest memory, I think, is the Triumph Tour. And that was back in 1980. Wow. wow. Yeah, I'm old, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, it, was, video, it was back then. Y'all got a video for the song, Why? I just need to know this. I'm sorry, y'all, OK? Uh, Taj, yeah. why are you always carrying a backpack? <laughs> you the only backpack, do the right? whole video oh, right there. Oh, there it is. Like, <laughs> it's smooth. First of all, that, that was, was my song, OK? That was, uh, <laughs> that was your thing? <laughs> what? That was my Uncle Michael who uh, suggested to Wear the backpack. What was in the backpack? Books. Books, usually. Books. Just, I like to read and all that stuff. Out. I like to learn. Movie theater. So you used it. Yeah, Why did he, he tell saw, you to wear the backpack? He saw it on the floor and he's like, wear this. And he said, you know, many years from now, people will still be wondering what's in the backpack. And look at that. He knew. A genius. He knew. He knew. That's a question people will always wonder. Yeah, that'll be your signature. Yeah. Very T cool. TJ, you are the guardian yes. of your uncle Michael's three kids. My grandmother and I. Yes. yes. Oh, okay, your grandmother yes. um, as well. There's Blanket, mm -hmm. Paris, and Prince. How are they doing? They're doing really well. Oh, that's They're great. doing really well. Do they want to get into music at all? Um, <laughs> <laughs> they, they prefer film. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So okay. directing. So do you okay. ever have to discipline them? Now, Lonnie. <laughs> you need a stepmama. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> no. You know, TJ, what are you hoping that the viewers will get from watching the show? Um, for me, it, it's about impact. Yeah. You know, and um, I think we learned from our father, our uncle, and mm -hmm. the rest of the family that, you know, we have a mic, we have a voice. How about that? And and we want to change the world in a good way. Do wow. some good. So yeah. there's there's everything in the show, and if it helps mm -hmm. one person, it's worth it for me. Yep. Wow. Are we gonna see a lot more of the family on there? Who else is gonna be on the show? We we opened it up to whoever wanted to be a part yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. We didn't pressure anyone into mm -hmm. it. It was it was pretty much us three just telling our story. Right. Yeah. And when we decided to do it, we we all agreed that if we're going to do it, we're going to do it 100% real. Wow, and, I love that. And, and like I said, it's not pretty all the time. It's not pretty. But, but it's real. It's, okay. real. it's real. Yeah, it's dope. You know? Yeah, it's true. Well, we're going to play a little game. All right. So every, you know, because everyone can relate to your family's music, but we want to see which Jackson song relates to you all. So oh, okay. we're going to play a little game called Which Jackson Song Are You? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to name a song from one of the Jacksons, and you have to decide which one of you it best describes, okay? So, Jeannie, you're up. Okay. I want to know which one of you is Michael Jackson's thriller. <laughs> I, I got to give it to... Yeah, that's easy. That's Todd. Yeah, that's, that's Todd. Todd. Really? Why Todd? Why? 
because he just likes to scare people. And the, the worst well, I like part about it, he's, yeah. the, he's the biggest scaredy cat of us all. Yeah. No way! Like, yeah, yeah he's like, the worst. we'd had chores growing up. We'd had to lock the doors, you know, around the house. Yeah. Always dragged me with them. Like, what? I just go, go lock that door. But then he would go around and it's scare scary. me. <laughs> I, I just, You're making me seem really mean. I wasn't but that that's, mean. Yes, that's what you, it was did all you do fun. that? Huh? Did you do that? Uh, see? <laughs> 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 That's how he was. So you well, yeah, know. He's yeah. thrilling. Okay. Got it. All right. All right. Which one of you can relate to Janet Jackson's discipline? Ooh. Discipline? Gosh, that would be both of you. Guys. Yeah, that's, some that's both of us. I that's think, you for parenting. Yeah, I'm, I'm, He's I'm pretty strict. Are you strict? Are you? Okay. Yeah. Like, what you been doing? Well, He's rough. I'm He's not, it's not that I'm rough. I just, I want to make sure. I don't have him for long. Right. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure. When they go off in the world, they're right. Yeah, I heard true. that. Mark, yeah. I'm not mad at that at all. There's nothing wrong with that. That's that is on. I, I give them a lot of love, though. Yeah, I believe in but love. But you got so. you got to be a little bit easier because you got away with too much when you're little. <laughs> you got Say away so. with so yeah. much. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Who is? Uh, I'll be there. Ooh, I'll be there. I think that's... I'm gonna say the three of us. Yeah, that's probably oh, three. Oh, sweet. Yeah. All right. yeah. But I think. Um, <laughs> Just, just growing up, not only in this family, just being raised the way we were raised to just stick together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, we do go through things on the show, but it's okay <laughs> because in the end, you know, we're brothers and, yeah. and we work it out and yeah. we're family. And, and it's being there for each other. Yeah. I love sweet, you. Man. Yeah. <laughs> and, sweet man. And I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. love this, but it is our turn now. All right. You guys name a song, and we will tell you which one of us that song relates to. So, okay. Oh, God. Okay. You go first. Tara, you're first. Me first? You're yeah. first. Okay. There's so many. I know the answer to this one. Uh -oh. You do? <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Pretty Young Thing. Oh, yes. What? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Pretty Young Thing. Pretty Young Thing. Um, what have you done for me lately? I think that's Tamar. me. Tamar. 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 All day, every day. Uh -oh. <laughs> that is the question of the hour. Tamar. What have Tamar. you done for me lately? Yes. Yes. You need to ask people that. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Yeah, it's a real well, question. Well, you always asking me to do stuff. <laughs> What's the next one? Todd. Dirty Diana. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Uh, all day. Wow. All righty then. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've been called well, out. Yeah. <laughs> I, guess I, was, so. I was just like, wow. Uh, okay. Um, dancing machine. Dancing machine. No, Tamar. No, 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 no. Don't get like twisted, okay? Jeannie over <laughs> here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.